Hey guys, welcome back. So today's a very special video I'm dedicating to a very good friend of mine, Chance. Chance and I met about 14 years ago when he helped train and mentor me. And then from there, we had a brief period of time where we didn't see each other. But then about three years or so ago, we started working together again and became very close friends. Well, today, officially, the release of this video is his last, is his first day of retirement. So I want to say congratulations to you, Chance. And Chance has been a huge supporter of me, uh, growing my family, um, moving, uh, starting the YouTube channel. He's been in my corner, helping me, supporting me, backing me, and now I don't get to see him every day. So this is kind of a sad moment for me. It is an awesome moment for him to finally be able to move on and do some amazing things to really start living his life the way he wants to. And I just want to say congratulations. Now, with that in mind, I decided to give him a little gift from me that I decided to make myself. And since I am a proponent of reusing things and making things out of old things, that this is what I'm using. I picked out this Pelican case from RepurposedMaterialsIncorporated.com. I'll leave the website in the description below. But the Pelican case is a 1200 series. It is 9 inches by 7 inches by 4 and a quarter. And the, what they describe on the website, it was used by a mining company to hold expensive equipment. I thought what perfect repurposing use would it be to use it as a travel humidor. So that's what we're going to flip this into. First thing we're going to do is clean it up using Dawn dish soap and water. Once it's all clean, you're going to use a Bondo all-purpose putty to plug up that hole in the back. It is going to be very quick drying, it's sandable in about 15 minutes, and my biggest recommendation is make sure it's well ventilated wherever you're going to use this. Now I picked up the gallon of Bondo on clearance at Home Depot for $20, which is pretty ironic that the smaller batch, which I was already looking at, was $20 as well, but this comes with the actual cream hardener. Uh, but with that process, what you're going to end up doing is adding about three inches uh, diameter of your Bondo cream, and then you're going to add your uh, Bondo cream hardener, which comes with this kit, about three inch strip along with it. And then you're going to start to knead it into it. And this is going to take about two minutes. They want you to spread it out thin and just continue to work it so it's fully engulfed into it. And then you're going to start adding it to the hole. You're going to have overage, especially since this it's a hole that goes all the way through. You're going to fill it in the best that you can. As it starts to dry, you're going to scrape off as much as you can. And in the end, we're going to be sanding it all down anyway, so that's going to create a nice finish. Once everything's dried and hardened, we're going to sand it all down. I'm using a little mouse sander. Now to prep everything for paint, we're going to be adding tape to the areas we don't want to get paint on. So I like the logo, so we're going to keep that. So I'm going to add tape, cut it out, and make sure that that stays intact. And then I'm also going to add it around the valve plug in the front. Now that everything is stained and covered up, we're going to be using Zinzer's Cover Stain Oil-Based Primer. We're going to put two coats on everything. And now it's time for paint. Just like the primer, we're going to put two coats, and this is a paint and primer, and we're using flat black. Once everything's dry, we're going to be using the Verithane Spar Urethane. It's an oil-based exterior glossy spray sealant that's going to go right over the top of everything, add a nice sheen, and seal it and make it completely waterproof. Everything is dry and it's looking nice. The hole is sealed up great, but the only problem I'm seeing is that I put together 
little too soon in some of the areas where the pelican case is closing and the latch is going it's starting to rub a lot of the paint off but i guess that should be expected with how tight of a seal this is going to end up being so last step is going to be adding the foam. I picked this up directly from Pelican themselves, so this is made specifically for this case. So we're gonna add the top and it fits in perfectly without any adhesive to hold it into place. And then we put the bottom base in and then our walls. The walls are actually cut into cubes, so you can actually cut them out to fit it to the size you want. Now I want this to fit the largest cigar that I have, so I put that in there as my base for measuring. And then I can just cut it all out, form it in, and fit it into place. There you have it guys, nice simple project. Overall it didn't take very long for me to actually get it done. Most of the time was spent just letting the paint dry. Uh, letting the different coats because I added so many different coats to it. Now there were some small little issues with it I do have to admit maybe it was because I tried to rush it towards the end and when the spark urethane was drying I uh, put it I closed it and then that caused some of the paint to chip and peel off but I put another seal and coat on it, let it left it open so hopefully it's going to work out. Now where the latches are I saw that there was some paint coming up there but that's kind of to be expected with that constant rubbing. Now that Bondo product, that's pretty amazing stuff. It hardened up within minutes. I actually had to apply a second coat during that uh, just to fill in everything, make sure it was completely sealed closed. And that was because that it, it dried within three to four minutes. It was completely dry and hard. So I had to add some more and mix up a new batch. Uh, but I can see how versatile that is. I will be using that in many future projects coming up. Now, overall, it's a great project. I did have a lot of fun doing it. I have a second case. I'll probably do something with it, but it'll follow a similar, pro similar process of what I just used. And that would have been B for me. I have no idea what I'll use it for. But at the end of the day, I just want to say thank you to Chance again. This was all for you. And it wasn't the only thing he got, but it, there's no way I could give him enough for what he's done for me and everybody that he's touched. He's an amazing man. He's done wonderful things for everyone. Um, he touches the hearts of many different people who will be missed greatly. Um, I guess that's it for today. Chance, thank you so much for everything you've done. Enjoy your new portion of your, journey, your journey, your new outlook on life, the new journey you're about to set off on. Have fun. Thanks everybody for watching. We'll see you soon.